In this video, we will find out what this filter is, what it does, how it works, and why you should consider getting one for yourself. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Julian and I'm the creator of Smartphone Filmmaking Pro and I hope you're all doing fantastic. In this video, we will be talking about the Moment diffusion filters that were kindly sent to me by the company Moment. But just a little disclosure, they did not pay me anything. They did not tell me what I have to say. I have been using these filters for the last couple of months. And in this video, I'll just share my thoughts with you. I'll tell you what they're doing, how they're working. So yeah, I would say let's just hop into this and first of all, we need to clarify what is a diffusion filter and what does it do? So the image that you're seeing right now is shot with a normal camera and I'm using the diffusion filter, the 10% diffusion filter. And you can see I have two visible light sources in my background. There is one, there is this banana and behind me there is this blue LED light. And I'll just show you right now what this image looks with the filter. And I'll now just unscrew it so that you can see the difference. And this is what the image looks without the filter. So there is not a big difference going on but that's also the cool part with these filters that there are different strengths so you can you know somewhat dial in the image that you want to have i'll now switch to the 20 percent filter so what you're seeing right now is the 20 percent filter and as you can see you know the highlights there with this light they are just you know much more shallowy and it's a much softer image overall but the cool part about this you know the highlights are softer but there is still the same amount of detail in my face and overall you know what this filter does it it you know it softens the highlights in general and the higher the number of the filter is like the the higher the percentage the more stylistic and the more stylized the image gets overall so with the 20 filter that you're seeing right now i would use this more for i don't know for certain movies short films or you know for certain music videos or something like this where i want to really get a very stylized image and the filter that i was using before this one here the 10 percent i would use this you know for basic occasions like i'm shooting right now and then they also have the five percent one and i'll just screw this one on right now so that you can see the difference so this is no filter and this is what the 5% diffusion filter from the company Moment looks like. And as you can see side by side, you know, there is a difference between all of them and also between, you know, having no filter at all. You know, using a filter like this just overall softens your image a little bit, but you still remain all the detail. And overall, it just creates a more cinematic image. And that's what I love. And the really cool part about this filter is that it not only works on normal cameras and you can basically, you know, buy them starting at a 32 millimeter um, diameter of your lenses and you can go all the way up to 82 millimeters. So basically whatever lenses you have, they will work for you. And what's really cool, as you can see here, I have a little camera rig for my smartphone and these filters also work on smartphones and this is especially cool when shooting with smartphones because you know when shooting with a small sensor and with small lenses like you have on your phone the image often gets sharpened digitally and when you use a filter like these from moment it overall just makes your smartphone footage look more cinematic and that's something that i really like another thing that i also really like from moment is this little mount that you can use to screw onto your phone and in my opinion, this is the best way of mounting filters onto your phone because, you know, it just completely covers the lenses. And, you know, since they are completely covered, there also is no reflections coming in from the side. I have used some other clip on filters in the past, but they just did not cover the lenses completely. And when you were shooting in bright sunlight, there was still coming in some sun from the sides. And then it had this weird, you know, spill effect. And it was just not looking perfect and with this it just covers it completely and you know what's really cool you could also just use this put some step up filters there and then you can use all the filters that you maybe already have for your normal camera just with your smartphone 
So overall, I have to say I'm really happy with these filters. I have been using them for the last couple of months. I have also been using them on my professional camera and also for professional shoots. And I have used them with my smartphone. And yeah, I have to say I'm really happy. I also really like the carrying boxes that you get with them. Inside of them, you have a little, you know, microfiber cloth that you can use to clean the filters. And yeah, overall, the build quality is just absolutely perfect. I also really love the red ring that is around the filter it just creates a really cool you know image overall it looks very professional and yeah i'm super happy with them in case you would like to check them out for yourself i have a link down below and in case you would like to learn how to professionally film with your smartphone you can check out smartphone filmmaking pro if you click the first link below that like button it will bring you to our totally free webinar it's 30 minutes long and it's jam-packed with value and inside of the webinar i share with you the top five secrets to shooting cinematic videos with your smartphone. So in case you're interested in that, just click the link below. And in case you would like to check out these moment filters, also check out the description. There are links for you guys. But that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any further questions, make sure to reach out to me and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.